Hi, you guys. Welcome back to another roundup of the new independent patterns that came out last month. Um, I do this uh, at the beginning of every month for the month prior. I find all the indie patterns I can possibly find that came out that are brand new to market um, so you guys don't miss a single one of them. So we're going to take a look at them and kind of just chat about them a little bit. Uh, first up, we're going to start with the seam work pattern. Seam work comes out with two new patterns every single month. Uh, this first one is their West Top, the Relaxed Button Up kind of like a camp shirt vibe um relaxed oversized easy layering laid back look back yoke uh delicate gathers in the front shoulder and center back below the yoke seam so very kind of traditional uh button up shirt details practical and stylish features cut on sleeves which is like grown on like dolman sleeves notch collar and two front patch pockets for a touch of utility and a modern fit so taking a look at some of these photos they offer, cute little fit front to back. I love these little side views. You can see the kind of the grown on um, sleeve here it does create kind of like a bit of a, you know, volume in the sleeve. There's the back. It looks like they use kind of like a drapier fabric too. Oh, here it is. This is probably a little bit more stable. Maybe some kind of like cotton linen blend. So cute in some kind of like checked print because there aren't a lot of shoulder seams. Um, there aren't a lot of pieces at all. So you can really maintain that like print all the way across. Very, very nice. Lots of photos. Um, okay, so they're recommending medium to lightweight fabrics. And notions wise you'll just need i mean they're recommending top stitching thread we all know you don't really have to have that a yard of lightweight fusible interfacing and four buttons so yeah not that cost um not that expensive either sizing and fit i think they're yeah double zero to 30 very size inclusive um seam work is okay so the next up is the brooks skirt button front midi link skirt uh, classic straight cut, sitting at a natural waist, five belt loops, scoop pockets, center front placket with a facing designed for stretch denim, split front hem, mid calf length, um, back yoke, jean style pocket. So yeah, kind of like a classic denim skirt just in this midi length. I love the fit of it, especially on the curvy model. I love how fitted it is. Um, a lot of times uh, denim skirts can just be so boxy, but because they're using a stretch denim, you can really get some curves popping. Really great. They're recommending medium to heavyweight stretch woven fabrics with 10% stretch, denim twill corduroy. Um, and then here are some of the pictures. There's some of the details. Really, really cute, right? This one might need to be purchased by me. Okay, so this part I don't love how it kicks out like that. I don't know why that happens other than it's too small in the bum. Like, does, do we need to do like a full seat adjustment here maybe? Uh, I don't know a ton about skirt fitting, but I know that this feels... A little bit strange to me. I would rather just go smoothly and not have this or fully accentuate that one or the two. This little in between then how it kicks back out that feels kind of strange. Um, let's see. Thread, top stitching thread, uh, seven snaps and then a coil zipper for the bonus. So the bonus must be a zip fly. Um, let's see. Where is that? Yes, member bonus fly and shaped center front seam, adding a touch of retro charm to your wardrobe. So you can do a center front seam. I don't know. I kind of like that better than the button front, to be honest. Even more like classic. Button front is fun, but I mean, they did a good job with it here. You just have to make sure none of this is being pulled, you know, and that can be a little bit challenging depending on your body type. Okay, next up, we have the Patterns for Pirates Lizzie Dress. Lizzie is a sundress, no tricky zippers or time-consuming buttons, still a sleek silhouette. Grab those woven non-stretch fabrics you love. Lizzie is perfect. 
Empire Waste Elastic hits just under the bust. Love that. Gives another just a bit below the ribs. The Gathered Tear gives us dress Swishy Sway and Swirl. There is Gathered Back just before the last tier. That is a fun detail to set apart from your everyday dress. Woven dresses tend to be more difficult to fit. That's true. And Pattern for Pirates, I think, is usually a knit garment, um, knit pattern company. So love to see them kind of branching out a little bit and for all of their like loyal followers to try something woven. So this is the fabric recommendation, matching youth dress and a bundle. Um, tons of uh, photos on the blog and the Facebook group. We have sizes double XS all the way up to 5X. Um, okay, and these are the line drawings. Let's go, can we see that? No, let's just click on these. Okay, is it gonna get bigger? There we go. Okay, so you can see that's as big as it's gonna get. You've got thin straps, you've got an empire waist, kind of like a, it's two rows of elastic. So it kind of creates like a waistband. And then you've got a gathered tier here and another one here. That's not elastic, is it? You can do these super cute sleeves. I love those. And then there's a maxi version, which just makes this these two tiers here longer. And then the back has some gathers here and then the same elastic. Okay, so let's go back and see the pictures again. Oh, so it actually goes through like a channel. That's even more interesting. And she's right, super easy to sew. Here's the channel I was showing you guys earlier. Yeah, this is really cute. This is my only concern, a little bit low here. I would like to see this a little bit higher. Oh, there's the one with the sleeves. I absolutely adore that version. And for a second, I almost thought those were shorts. But this detail here is really interesting. That's what she's saying kind of sets us apart from other dresses. And I can't fully tell exactly how that's constructed, but it looks like purchase trim, right? It looks like something totally extra. Yeah, all these versions look kind of totally different from each other too, which is really interesting. Some of these, I don't know, the execution isn't isn't as great as others and I don't know what would contribute to it being better I guess just fabric choice like sometimes it looks like an accident and sometimes it looks perfectly intentional but it's still cool it's still unique I love this version and to do it off the shoulders so cute all right that one's fun 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 yeah and a great way to use up those kind of lightweight drapey fabrics yeah, this one looks really good. Okay, any hoozles. Next up, we have Sinclair Patterns. They are bringing us the Eden True Wrap Dress and Top for Women. So True Wrap means it's not a faux wrap. It means <laughs> this part comes under ties or a button or something happens over here and then this wraps. And if you undo all these things, you're naked. <laughs> um, so woven fabrics, gathered shoulders, semi-fitted bodice, flared skirt or peplum, Skirt comes in knee length with or without the additional ruffle below the knee ruffle. Uh, waistline features darts back and front and a wrapped waistband that goes through the opening at the side seam. Comes in a sleeveless dress. Oh, so it actually goes through your back. Okay, so undo this and there's. I don't think there's anything on the inside here. It just truly wraps around your whole body. Really good. So you can see the line drawings here. Didn't it say gather somewhere? Gathered shoulders. I'm not seeing gathered shoulders in the line drawings. Oh, it's supposed to be gathered here. That's where hers are gathered here. But again, it's not on the line drawing. So that's a little bit confusing. Um, not entirely sure what I'm gonna get. Some of these, look, I don't even see gathers there. So yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, and then the, you can do different links um, is really all there is to it. Flutter sleeve or a kind of fitted elbow sleeve or sleeveless. Great. There's a lot of different versions, woven fabrics. I love when they do this techniques to master. 
so that you can fully understand what you're getting yourself into. Really, really good. And the, um, this pattern has separate cup sizes and uh, separate uh, heights, lengths of the garment for petite, regular, and tall. And then they also have, yeah, extra small to 4X. So really size inclusive here as well in more ways than one. Uh, uh, horizontally around your body and length and bust size inclusive. So good to see. Okay, Green Style Creations. Is it called Creations anymore? Or is it just Green Style now? I don't know. Anyways, Tavi Shorts. Um, these are versatile woven fabric shorts. That's so interesting. So many of our traditionally knit pattern companies are now branching out into wovens. Green Style is usually a knit company too, knit pattern company. Um, for all your summer and early fall needs, low or mid-rise option, front or back pockets, uh, and various hem lengths. Shorts are designed to fit your unique style. Choose between a one inch or two inch elastic waistband. So elastic waist shorts. Okay. And at a touch of flare with a V hem on the side, that's really cute. Very like ready to wear. Um, two, one to two and three quarters of a yard, depending on length, woven fabric, bottom weight, cotton, linen, chambray, etc. Two, oops, two inch, four inch or six inch inseams. Lower mid rise, one or two inch elastic waistband, meaning how tall the elastic is uh, or wide, I guess. Um, straight hem or side V, optional front pockets. Okay. So, yeah, we've got your elastic waist kind of chino shorts. Like, if you wear a shirt that's, you know, longer than the waistband, they look like, they look like chino shorts. Um, but if you tuck something in, they are, you can see that they're elastic. These are really great to sew. Great for an entry level, entry point into sewing pants because you don't have to worry about the waistband. You can just focus on the crotch curve. Um, so it just kind of eliminates one whole fitting issue all in one shebang. Um, but yeah, these are really, really cute. One detail I think is missing, but would be easy to add maybe. It's just like a little drawstring here. I don't know why. I'm feeling like we need a drawstring. But these little slash pockets are great. The fit on everybody so far, these side views look really good. And these are all like tester makes. So these are people just like you and me uh, making these. So I'm assuming they're doing the fit uh, adjustments that they think that they need. But, you know, may or may not be well versed in that either. So you're getting what it kind of looks like coming straight out of the, straight out of the, um, envelope, if you will, not an envelope on PDFs, but you know what I mean? So if all of these people are able to get a good fit, it's a pretty good, like, um, oh God, what's it called? Whenever you do like a survey, a fo not a focus group, pretty good. Oh, oh, collection of <laughs> varying skills that can be applied. Oh, you guys, some of you might know what I'm trying to say. Lots of side views. I want to see more front views. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to assess the crotch design. It does seem to be a little bit uh, flat on some people. Well, that's a back view. That looks pretty good. We're not getting a wedgie. There does seem to be a little bit of extra fabric through here. But again, these people are bringing to the table what they know about pants making so and pants fitting. So if everybody's consistently looks pretty good, like I think that's a that's a really great marker for a pattern. Um, that means kind of like no matter your skill set, no matter what you know, they're going to turn out pretty good because everybody's, I mean, I have hardly any complaints and a lot of times too, when a knit pattern company does a woven pattern, that's, and especially a pants pattern, that's when you can really start to see like, Oh, you know, like they don't normally do this. So good job. This look great. Okay. This is wardrobe by me. Hello. The, Oh boy. <laughs> The Abbey dress sewing pattern. Wow. Okay. So description is charm of Abbey. Okay. Feminine and relaxed caftan style dress 
sewing pattern for woven fabrics available in sizes 0 to 24 and then 30 to 54. I don't know what happens to 26 and 28, but okay. Um, easy silhouette for sure. That's what made me go wow in the beginning because it is so simple. Um, so along on YouTube, there's the sizes draft. Okay. 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 Neck, uh, design details, V neck for flattering feminine look waistline casing for a customizable fit side seam pockets for practicality options for straight dress or dress with playful ruffles, which they don't show that here. I wish that that was illustrated. Um, skill level two out of four fabric choice, lightweight woven fabrics, cotton, linen, viscose, or viscose or silk. Okay. Not a lot of notions. Okay. So it is a dolman sleeve V neck with, I think it's just turned under V neck, which I have thoughts about that. If you're going to do that, you need to stabilize this, right? But then it just has this little center front seam. So a fairly easy construction, simpler than other construction of a V neck. Um, we've got these deep hems on the arm openings, but I like how small they are. Like I like how it comes down so much from the shoulder. Then you've got this casing, which you can put in elastic or something else. Did it say, um, multiple design options. Where was it? Tie band or elastic for a versatile fit. Okay. So you can either do the elastic that stays kind of cinched in, or you can do a tie that you can adjust yourself. And then from there it just flows. So this is one of those patterns that like, I don't love futzing around with, um, lightweight fabrics that much anymore. I used to be like, yeah, let's do a lightweight collared button up shirt. You know what I mean? And just like, oh my God, drive myself nuts. But this one feels really doable in one of those lightweight fabrics. These, where is the line drawing of this? These little ruffled sleeves are everything. And then I think there's a tear here too. So that's like a completely different dress. Like what the heck? How is that even possible? How do you have a grown on sleeve and then also a seam line here? I am so perplexed and intrigued. Are we going to get a line drawing of that at all? No, we don't. That's wild. Yeah. Show us that. That should be on the cover too. Yeah. Where is it? That's a whole like different look on that dress completely. Yeah. So I for sure want to, want to see more on that. My gosh. Okay. This is my keeper clothing. This is the honey dress. Price point, not my favorite, but again, I always tell you guys when I do these videos, I appreciate that these people are, you know, small business owners and they're allowed to price their patterns at whatever they deem appropriate. I just place value on my sewing projects, um, a little bit differently maybe. And when I'm assessing how much a pattern costs or how much a project is going to cost, um, starting out at $20 just for the pattern. It's really hard for me to get behind and it has to be like incredible, which a lot of times some of these are just so basic that I'm like, mm, I don't know about that, but this one, I don't like this beige on blue. It's really hard to read. Um, nostalgic nod to the iconic eighties drop waist silhouette, which is very on trend right now. Uh, v neck, V style waist and gathered skirt. This dress effortlessly blends retro charm with modern flair. Structured bodice offers sophistication. Rounded open back with ties as a modern touch. Optional hip bows add a dash of personality. That's that whole coquette kind of vibe. Um, while pockets provide practicality. Okay, 6 to 22. So I know a lot of us aren't super familiar with this pattern company. We'll look at what that means, um, what that translates to here in a second. But here's a really good photo of kind of the design details. So you do have kind of like a, uh, not a corset, but like a, oh, I can't remember what it's called. You have these seams here, one across the bust, one that's supposed to go under the bust. And then I guess these are like corset, like details. Then this is the low scoop that they're talking about from the eighties. And then the back we saw, yes. So the back just, you have these straps that come back and then a strap around the back and then it ties. 
and then a little scoop there. Yep, and then you can add the bows to the front, bow to the back, and have some extra detail there. I, on these patterns, really love to check for this. The fit of this is super important. Um, everybody seems, because sometimes what will happen is these will be so loose that it drops down and it like sags. It happens a lot in the big five. I don't know why. Um, but these two look really good. This here where it's gaping is a little bit bothersome. That could be because of her pose though. Hers looks good. Hers also looks, why is there two? So maybe there's an option where you can do one or two. But as I always point out, this bust line here has to be under your bust. So it could be that either the straps aren't long enough, which I'm not getting that vibe from the arm side and the, the length of this. Maybe it could be like pulled up a little and then lowered. I'd have to futz around with her to see if this is just not long enough. It looks like it is though. It looks like it should be and that we're just like, we need to play around with it a little bit. Okay, those are all the photos that we're gonna get. Let me see. Yeah, this one's really, that the fit on all of these looks really good. So I'm feeling good about that. Um, all right, so I wanna see uh, what their size range is. This is not a link. Okay, so I'm going to have to go somewhere else to find it. About, so, uh, sewing patterns, learn to sew, size guide. Okay. So this was 0 to 22. Um, those are Australian sizes, which, oh, and also, um centimeters so i'd have to convert but 79 centimeters to 119 centimeters so 31 to 46 yeah not the most size inclusive and i guess we could probably tell that too because none of the models are bigger <laughs> they're all pretty straight sized all the models are so disappointing when that happens i love to see a cute design fully size inclusive there's clearly like some room wiggle room here with the with these ties but and the elastic in the waist but you know still we want to see it intentionally intentionally done okay so that's that this is sycamore road they just released this top um let me find it Yes, the Alma top. Okay, go to pattern for chic and versatile wardrobe staple. It's a one shoulder top with a gathered long sleeve, sophisticated silhouette, single gathered sleeve with a cuff, a one shoulder top with a gathered short sleeve, an off the shoulder design with long bell sleeves, an off the shoulder top with short sleeves. Designed for confident beginners, straightforward sewing experience, QR codes where you can scan to get help with the most difficult steps. That's fun. Um, the pattern has been tested by amateur sewists. Love that. Across a wide range of sizes, ensuring good fit and good instructions. Okay. So we have sizes A. What is this? With a B sewing cup. Oh, it's with A through J. That's a J. Okay, got it. A through J with a B sewing cup. Sizes K through O with a D sewing cup. Uh, sizes range from 30, six, 30 and a half to 60 inches in the bust. Perfect. Lightweight to medium woven fabrics like cotton linen, silk, and viscose. Check out the photos to see how the fabric choice affects. Great. This listing is super, super helpful. Lots of great information here. Not too much, you know, frilly on all the little, you know, sometimes they're just they wax on about, you know, the season and, you know, where you're supposed to wear this and stuff. Like, okay, I get it. Um, but yeah, cute off the shoulder top, little elastic in here. Then there's that double casing again that provides this like little, same thing from that dress, right? It's just two elastic casings and you pull them in tight. This is the long sleeve. Love that design. Oh, Okay, I was having a hard time imagining the one shoulder, but cute. Okay, 
I do like how it's this sleeve that kind of provides the bubble hem. I do like that a lot. I, you know, if you're watching my videos, you know I'm not a super huge fan of asymmetric. I don't really love one shoulder. Um, but here it is as a set. That's super fun. Okay. Got it. And then the rest is just... Okay, so there's long sleeve with a cuff. Short sleeve. Long bell sleeves short bubble sleeves okay back to the beginning all right yeah pretty straightforward it's 10 euros on sale right now probably because it's release week or something like that they literally just released it at the end of the month um but yeah cute and fun and you know styled like they styled it it does seem very wearable i know some of you are like it's way too young i don't like for my belly to show i get that i get that um so this one's not for you, you know, <laughs> but I like crop tops. I really like them. Um, so maybe, I don't know. So this is the Langston trousers from French Navy. For some reason, these look super familiar already. And I can't tell if it's because like closet core does these kinds of illustrations or because I've seen so many French Navy little illustrations that it's starting to look familiar. Maybe they have another pair of pants that's similar, but when I first saw this, I was like, haven't I seen those before? But then I haven't. But what the kicker here is I love that they styled them with these um, little slip-on Birkenstocks. It's so, so, so 2024. Um, okay, mid-rise, relaxed fit, designed to sit a little below the natural waist, slim through the hip with curvy room leg that tapers slightly toward the ankle. Uh, comfortable cut, elastic waistband, button, or zipper fly front instructions. So that's great. Vintage inspired carpenter details. Um, by the end, I can also be toned down to more minimalist look. Okay. Medium weight fabrics, woven fabrics like linen, cotton, twill, denim, or corduroy. These are all your notions. I mean, if you do the fly zip, obviously you need, like, you know, some hardware. Um, fabric requirements, experience level, a confident beginner. Okay, so let's look at some of these photos. Oh, so they are kind of like uh, carpentery. Okay, this is giving me a much different vibe than this. Oops, then where'd she go? This I uh, gave me like they look so much more relaxed, right? They look like the fabric looks more relaxed. This is like more of a structured denim, so. That's really interesting. I do love this little hammer holder thing. <laughs> Not that I ever need to hold a hammer, but you never know. Um, okay. Okay. Elastic waist. These big patch pockets. Stove pipe leg. Maybe even a slight little taper in. I kind of like them in the structured fabric. Oh. It certainly sets this design apart from some others that look like this like i said i did think it looked familiar see all of these are like lightweight like uh chambray type fabrics i don't know i kind of like them out of the structured this is what i thought we were going to get like a chino which it is it still is definitely that but it's also it can also be more than that it can be like a carhartt is that what they're going after like a carhartt vibe yeah i'm picturing like a lot more structured um, yeah, mid-weight for sure. Not light to medium weight. Mid-weight and up. But they are cute. They are really cute. I don't know how I am about a, I don't know how I am about pants in general. Like, if I could just wear dresses for the rest of my life or rompers, I would. Um, but these are cute. They're definitely something I would think about if I were going to make pants. I would, I would think of these, I think. And $12 price point, um, down from 16 I don't know how long these sales last either. So, all right. This is the new closet core crew. The program is new. Um, it's basically like their version of seam work. If I'm allowed to say that, um, you join this membership, you pay monthly and you get one new pattern every month. So this month's pattern is, or I guess August's pattern was the Jade pants. Um, 
exclusively available to crew members. Join now and get this pattern. So you can get it even after you join. Um, monthly plan is 12 bucks. So I guess the pattern costs $12. But if you end up doing a whole bunch of them, well, yeah, the pattern costs $12, right? Yeah, I'm trying to do some funky girl math on this and it's just not happening. Okay, um, unlimited plan is 144 a year, which is 12 times 12. Okay, so J Pants, chic, sophisticated, choose your own adventure styling options featuring a tapered and slightly cropped length. Jade has sleek high rise with front release pleats and a waistband facing. They also feature unique wrap panels inserted in the side seams that can be tied in a number of ways. View A is wrap pant with secret pocket. View B is sleek pleated pant. So this is a wrap. That it wraps around. It doesn't have to be in the front. You can make it be in the back, I guess is what they're saying. Yeah, you can see how it's tied here. Right? That's interesting. I'm trying to decide if that would be more camouflaging to a tummy or less camouflaging. There's the norm, like you can leave these things off and just have a normal pleated pant. I kind of feel like a straight jacket in the best way. Like, couldn't you tie those up pretty tight and feel like you were like being constricted, you know, like kind of, I don't, they feel like they would be good. Now, all this origami on how to get these ties to tie all these unique ways, I'm not your girl for that. I don't know if they're going to have instructions for that or not, but I do think the idea is really cool. You can see here, though, that she is, she's tightening it a lot, which is how I kind of feel like I would do it. Um, and then the pleated pant without the tie just has these darts, but I do like that there's four darts across the back. Very high rise, and there's a facing, not a waistband. So that's why you're getting such a long line here. I think from further away, that looks less strange. <laughs> um, invisible back zipper here. Yeah, and you can see the little pleat poking out. The fit is good on her, I think. Yeah, I think you could have some fun with this. Now, I'm just not personally a fan of the lightweight tapered pant. I would make these wide leg. And I think that that would also provide some balance between the waist and the hip and the leg, like, you know, um, proportion wise. But the fit looks good, right? For, you know, a fit model, maybe a little something funky happening here, but these drag lines, I'm not too, too worried about. Again, she's turning this way. So that could be causing some of that, especially in this lightweight fabric. I think it's interesting. Um, is it interesting enough to join the club? I guess you could join the club, get this pattern and quit the club, right? I mean, nobody says you have to stay. Um, yeah, I think that, I think it's cool. You could also, I just want to point out there, this is not like anything super revolutionary in terms of design. Like you could easily just make these little, where was that one photo where it was like undone? You could just make those ties, sew them into your side seam. That's really all they've done here. So if you have a trouser that you already love, you just sew these things, try and mimic that shape, and then you sew them into your side seams. That's all that they've done here. So it may be hack maybe hack and not buy a new pattern. That's, that's a choice. Um, supplies are structured wovens, linen chambray or lightweight twill, softer effect, choose drapey woven. So they are going for something lighter weight, um, which I could get behind, but again, I would want this to be wider for me personally. Sizing, very size inclusive here, zero to 20 and then 14 to 32. There's an overlap between misses and women's. And then your printing information. Okay. Now we have Edgewater Ave. They released their Carly bottoms. They are a exclusively, I think, swim, yeah, swim pattern company. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Just when I got it to go away. How did I do that? Okay. 
Okay. Um, so they release these new bottoms in conjunction with Sony fans. Um, fully reversible crossover bikini bottom style with tons of options baked into one pattern. Extra small to 22. Extra small to 2X and extended sizes 12 to 22. Why are we going from letters to numbers? I'm not entirely sure. View A is high-waisted with a thin band. View B is high-waisted with a thick band. And view C is mid-waisted with a thin band. Full coverage and cheeky coverage options in the back. Fully reversible construction as all seams are enclosed. And then just the absolute bravery of these women to be... Um, on the internet in their pajama in their swimsuits like good for you so i do like the crossover band i feel like that's super flattering on literally any body type um i have some yoga pants that have this and i just i feel really great in them so oh and they put all their little handles in there too okay cute i mean a lot i know here in the states we are headed toward winter but I don't know. Maybe you're taking a little vacation or something. You can take a cruise in the winter anytime you want. I do like their patterns a lot. If you're interested in learning how to sew swim, this is one of the first place I started whenever I was thinking about it. Um, so cute little bottoms, right? I do think they, do they sell their own fabric? I'm sure you guys are going to wonder. They have elastic. They have cord ends. I don't think they have fabric, but I think online or on Instagram, she has like a list of her favorite, um, uh, swimwear fabric places. I think I remember seeing that somewhere. Okay. That's that. Now we have the Serena patterns. Uh, I think this is a Puerto Rican brand. This is their Sarah dress. Uh, offering two length options, perfect for any occasion, worn alone for a chic look or layered with a top underneath for added versatility. Okay, that's really good. She doesn't give us a whole lot of information about it at all. Okay, so you have a princess seamed kind of sheath dress, square neck with this little thing here. I have made a dress that has this. It was not difficult to sew and I remember it feeling like a gun holster <laughs> I remember making it feel really I don't know cool um and then you can add these interesting long patch pockets with this little angled opening that's what the back looks like I guess that means that the straps are adjustable you have an extra button there buttonhole and then you can add this um pleated tear on the bottom those are your two options. So yeah, looking at this, not, I mean, not, not my style, but maybe not denim with the top stitching. The fit looks pretty good. Maybe a little long through here. There's some gaping here. And then on the front, there's some gaping here as well on both sizes. But all of that can be fixed, you know, wearable muslin. There's just some length issues. I think this part might be a little bit too long. And then this thing is definitely too long. Um, but that's it. You can fix that. Pinch it out and it's gone. Um, the size chart. Okay, so we have bust measurement of 32 up to 46. Yeah, and 35 to 49. So not not the best not the worst it's a good it's not size fully size inclusive it's like middle way middle way there's some more line drawings i would have loved to see this version i think the little mini version would be so cute all right this is pattern emporium's new pattern it is the downtown jacket uh modern design perfect for layering features a two-piece sleeve with an exaggerated cuff oh i see that now okay that's cool um watch the video to see what's in this pattern pattern pieces for both regular and roomy fit instead of curvy they're calling it roomy i love when people just like 
rethink the norm for really no reason other than I don't know why because it's fun I guess maybe it makes people feel a little bit more comfortable to say I'm roomy I need the roomy version not the curvy version <laughs> um regular fit is ideal for wearing over light layers roomy fit offers extra space for layering under our long sleeve sweaters okay so not really equating it to size necessarily they're equating it to more of the design ease um Sleek two-piece sleeve with exaggerated cuff, easy collar, and integrated pocket, back yoke with burrito finish, plenty of top stitching, choose between top stitched or pleated back. So top stitched or pleated, and the pleated will add a little bit more volume here. Okay, three links. Your choice of button or snaps. Short sleeve options are also included. So we've obviously got two links here. Oh, okay. Two links here. The cropped one, you know, I love a crop jacket. Um, this one also, this is the exaggerated cuff, which that is kind of fun. Something different. Here are all of your options. There's the cuff again. Look at that pretty sewing. Yeah, that's kind of like a shacket. Okay, okay, I'm getting it. The little V detail we saw in those shorts before in the hem band. That's the pleated version lovely there she is living her best life in the cropped version the cropped version with the pleat i gotta say is really adorable i love it that it's short and wide <laughs> um here's a pretty version these all look really well made so the instructions must be pretty good i can't zoom in a ton but you know, the typical areas where you see issues with collars and stuff, I'm just not seeing here. So that makes me happy. Fit looks good on everybody. That's a cute little lightweight version. Why not? Um, sizing, I'm pretty sure Pattern Emporium is inclusive on the sizes. 4 to 30 in Australian. This is the size chart, which, oh, there we go. Um, goes from inches. 27 and a half up to 54 and three quarters so yeah super super size inclusive um and then probably for your trims and stuff you need all the usual jacket jacketing type stuff Lin the fabrics are linen linen blends rayon rayon chalet viscose cotton sateen seersucker lawn all of those <laughs> so many options interfacing and then buttons yeah Oh, pattern mashing. That's a fun category. The sleeves in this pattern are mashable with others in the um, Pattern Emporium woven range. No alteration is needed. Well, that's cool. What others do we swap sleeves between? Okay. Give me some. I'm going to see. What do we have? A little sleeve with elastic. A little lantern sleeve. That's really... I love that. That is very um just smart from a business standpoint because you feel like oh i already have the be mine top which i do um so now i can do like a be mine sleeve on this cute little jacket it makes it like more enticing to buy because oh i already have like two sleeve options now you know what i mean i love that that's cool all right Love Notions came out with their Timber Peasant Top and Dress. Versatile design, extra small to 5X with a full bust option. Ideal for wovens, knee length dress with placket or drawstring options. And shirts with plastic or skirting option. Not plastic. <laughs> placket or shirting options. Skirting options. What? Knee length dresses with placket or drawstring options shirts with placket or skirting doesn't that make it a dress oh more like a peplum maybe that's what they're trying to say okay um four sleeve styles puff flutter short and bishop perfect for creating stylish and customizable pieces okay so here are the options we have the knee length dress just extended from the regular plain top you can add a peplum to the top you can add a button front placket i mean all three of these look so different especially with the different sleeves right then you have the regular dress the 
placketed button front dress, and then the one with the drawstring. And again, swapping out all of these. Yeah, you could make one of these in every different fabrics and have they look all completely different. I love that. Okay, more photos. There's the placket version. It does have this little elastic casing at the neckline. Elastic at the arms. Yeah, my concern with tops like this that are raglan, you know, kind of loose, is the that they look too big. And I think that this is an example of that. Her This just feels so wide on her body. And maybe she chose that for, you know, because that's how she likes her shirts to fit. Um, but that's something that I definitely pay attention to when I'm making tops like this. Yeah, that one's really pretty. They're, they're very just kind of like simple. There's Whitney. Um, it's a simple design, right? Great use of fabrics like this where you don't want to chop it up too much. You don't want to mess up that print. But yeah, all of these versions. I think that that, see how close her raglan sleeves are? That feels a little bit more appropriate. Now I will say, is this a ruffle? I don't remember it saying that. But that looks ruffly, right? Can you zoom in? Oh, here we go. Um, bag it up. Okay. That looks like it's like a paper bag waist type of ruffle. Like the elastic casing went here and then created that ruffle. Is that intended? I don't know. This is not ruffling. But yeah, it's got to be kind of a little bit of a scrap buster too. Oh, seersucker. Can't go wrong with seersucker. So yeah, just an easy, easy throw on. Oh, she embroidered hers. I love that. I love that. Okay. The peplum. That's really cute on her. Yeah, these are all really good. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Just something quick, easy, throw it on. You don't have to think about it too much. Yeah, maybe it's not like the most stylish thing that you own, but listen you're putting on real clothes that day okay so that's a win that's a win another good example of a good use of print there that you don't want to break it up too much so yeah okay great excellent another win from love notions they are like a just a tried and true pattern company size inclusive great instructions you can't go wrong if you've never used one of them before you should definitely give one a go all right, this is Patterns for Pirates, um, Raider Ringer T. That, I knew that was going to be hard to say. Retro flare into your wardrobe with the Raider Ringer T. Designed for our adult hourglass size chart. Um, this offers a stylish figure hugging fit that figure hugging fit that highlights your curves while keeping things playful and fun. Unique vertical stripe detail running from the neckline to the hemline on the sleeves perfect of oh, this perfect for those who love a classic look with a modern twist um aiming for casual daytime outfit or chic evening ensemble this okay so crop top crop top and shirt and dress short sleeves long sleeves with cuffs or long sleeves with a hem finish crew neck and additional scoop neck i like that double XS to 5X drafted for light to medium weight knit fabrics with at least 40% horizontal stretch rib knits tri blend jersey knits lightweight cotton spandex bamboo lycra rayon spandex blends double brush poly modal knit blends so yeah definitely at least some of these are going way over 40% but at least 40% okay let's look at the pictures so the intention i believe is to do the neck band this vertical stripe and the hem bands all in a contrasting fabric a contrasting color so that it looks kind of retro like a 1970s tee or something yeah i mean that that's pretty much dead on like with the little cats i guess those are whatever that is that i mean it couldn't get more like vintagey looking than that right then you just have the plain version. That's great in and of itself. Oh, a little like, you know, game day. Oh, she put the print 
she did opposite. The print went into the details and solid here. Great way to use up scraps. I mean, there cannot, you can't possibly need a ton of scraps for this. So that's cool. Oh, she did the same thing. Okay, great. Maybe that isn't, <laughs> that was like kind of a unique idea to me, but apparently all these girls were like, no, that's, that's second nature to us. And here's the crop. We've seen the dress. Here's another dress. Love this on her. I like that it's really fitted. I like that, you know, with these like fitted dresses, you can't be afraid to go tight. You know, it looks better that way. Oh, another little sporty version. So, yeah, I think that like I'm seeing this as like, like I said, 1970s vintage yeah either colors like this or prints that are really vintage like think about pointel knit um little ditzy flowers you know that's where my mind is going with it in terms of um pattern choice and selection and stuff fun okay we have the daphne dolman drawstring blouse pattern from ellie and mac here are our line drawings. I love they put them straight out in front. Pattern details. No pattern details. This is just company details. Okay, so the description is going to be under this. Okay, great. Um, cinch the optional drawstring waistline and unleash your style. Trendy sleeves, flattering flounce hem, faux pockets, and button front for a touch of classic elegance. Um, that's some ways you can wear it. Two bodice options, placket and non-placket, two neckline scoop and crew, two waistlines, drawstring and regular, two skirt flounce options, short and long, two sleeve options, but it's really three, hemmed, short flounce and long flounce. Okay. And then a sew along. These are the techniques you're going to learn. Again, I love that when companies do that. Sizing is double XL to six L XL, double XS to six XL. <laughs> um, drafted for a curvy fit size chart. Drafted for five five. Oh, okay, so plain front, button front, little flounce sleeve, long flounce sleeve, short sleeve. Drawstring, no drawstring, short skirt, long skirt. Got it. Here are some of the options. I like to zoom. Yeah, okay. It's giving a lot more cutesy than I was originally thinking when I read the description. Really cutesy. And the execution of this placket looks really good. I know it's a faux placket, but still that tells me the instructions are good. So love that. Yeah. A little white moment. Yeah. It's really flirty. Love it for a teenager. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pretty color on her. Layered. Okay. Yeah. These are all really cute cute I think is the word for this one right cute cutesy should I say demure I know you guys are probably sick and tired of hearing that um where did it talk about fabric choice did it is it knit or woven oh here we go four way stretch fabrics with 50% stretch brush poly stretch jersey viscose blends yeah, interestingly enough, a lot of these are drapier knits than I would have imagined. But they're kind of perfect for this. I love it. I, you know what? I'm never not going to consider lengthening something to a dress. This would be super, super easy to do that in any of these bodice options. So Ellie and Mac, Daphne Dolman. Love it. Okay, we've got a couple more here. This is Designer Stitch, the Mila dress. Very business appropriate. Like, if you wore this to an office, please, look, look out, future CEO. <laughs> um, sizes 2 through 26, cup sizes A, B, C, D, and double D, parentheses E. 
Oh, is a double D also known as an E? Okay, that must be what that means. Very advanced beginner and above sewing level. So this is really going to push you guys. Soft tailoring at its best. Absolutely. Mila wrap dress is figure, slimming, silhouette, universally flattering, wrap style for a piece that can be worn seamlessly from day to night for sure. For sure. The details are pleated sleeve into cuff and placket, um, elbow length sleeve, also back yoke, two piece shirt collar. That's what makes it so difficult, probably. Draped true wrap and side ties. Here are our line drawings. So you've got bust arts, you've got the collar with the collar stand, true wrap with this pleated detail, longer length, shorter length, and then elbow sleeves or traditional like button down shirt sleeves. Great. Okay, they are non-stretch woven fabrics that gather well. Rayon and rayon types, silk and, I don't know about these for a dress like that um, would be difficult to execute, I think. Um, lightweight cotton, linen, linen types, denim, denim types, baby corduroy, corduroy types. Um, these are all the different versions you get. Wow, okay. Layering, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we got all that. I did want to see where the size chart went, which was here. But what does that mean? You can't click it or anything. So something's broken there, I guess. But if we look at this. Okay. what This is designer stitch. Okay. I don't like that view. I want this. Okay. So I'm getting. Oh, these are all the same person. She's the same. She's yeah, they're all the same person. Okay. Um, it looks a little bit big on her. Um, especially in the shoulder, these first two, this third one, we must have sized down because that fits a lot differently than the other ones do, right? Um, it, yeah. Yeah, okay. So again, the sizing might be a little bit off in the shoulders. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look wrong. It just looks oversized which I don't think the intention was and because we're getting such varying outcomes is it supposed to be oversized is it supposed to be tailored and fitted like what's the what's the intention but it is a really beautiful design I think that all these fabric choices are great the execution on these collars look really good yeah just again in the shoulder I don't know why it's dropping off it should be way up here but again, that's something that, I don't know, I kind of feel like that's something that we should be checking on all of our patterns anyways. Yeah, I kind of liked it in the more simple, like this one, I mean, 10 out of 10, she looks incredible. Um, but yeah, the more simpler fabrics, I'm liking it better in because you can see these pleat details better. Yeah, Mila woven, great. Matchy, matchy. One of my, slowly becoming one of my new favorite pattern companies. They just are like a lot of fun. Bow boxer shorts. They love putting a bow on something, which is also another reason why I'm loving them so much. But the bow boxer shorts are fast, easy, fun. So a perfect make for cool girls in hot weather. Basic breezy shorts are inspired by traditional boxers with a straight fit. Pattern includes mid-rise and high-rise, both with three or five inch inseam, finished with small slide sits slits and sweet bows okay so you can see that here and then they did you know i love when they do the contrast now the boxer short trend boxer shorts as regular shorts like you wear like remember whenever like people were wearing pajamas in public well now people are wearing boxer shorts in public and the more boxery your fabric looks like the more on trend it is so we're not trying to make these look like chinos. We're not trying to make these look like, you know, regular shorts. We want them to look like boxers. That's the point. So when you go shopping for fabric, whether it's your stash or a store, you know, you really want to kind of lean in to something that looks like boxer short fabric and then have some fun with the bows. This is such a cute detail. I love this. Okay, here are some tester versions. Um, of these four pictures, 
I'm not seeing any glaring fit issues. The side seams all look pretty good. These side views are really hard to tell that anything's happening. This back view looks okay from the angle she's at. Oh boy. The angle she's at and also um, the... What happened? The angle she's at and also the pose that she has, like how she's standing. So the angle being from the side, her being from the side, a little bit hard to tell, but from what I can see here, it looks fine. These look really good. These look way too big through here. But that, again, when you look at these tester versions, it's really, really hard to assess because she might just like her stuff to fit oversized. So she might have picked a size that's too big on purpose. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, but to me, that's, that's too big. When we look at these girls, again, we're getting some not super helpful angles. The side view, obviously, to show the bow, like, I get that. We need, like, one or two of those. But then let's show us some full straight view back um, would be really helpful. The straight view front on her looks good. So, yeah, just some things to think about, even with the simplest of patterns. Um, I wanted to see sizing. So the hip measurement goes from 34 up to 67. So very size inclusive there. Great. All right. Oh, that was our last one. I lied. Um, the last tab was the centimeters thing that I was doing. Okay. So that is all the indie patterns that I found for August. Um, if you found any others, please let me know. I will add them to my list of companies that are pushing out patterns on a regular basis. Um, but I'd love to know what you thought of any of these. If you happen to make any of these in August, let me know that too, what your thoughts were. Um, if some of these were new to you, I'd love to hear that as well. Um, yeah, let's just chat about it in the comments. Any, any thoughts you have, just leave them there. But that is going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all very very, very <laughs> soon. I just wanted to get through all of them. Okay. Bye.